this is your first time to the channel consider subscribing press the bell icon and never miss an update so guys this is the power of the PLRUB so as you can see the battery is disconnected so the indicators are working in idle the indicators are working and check this out also see there is absolutely no difference both these lights are glowing the headlight is glowing the horn is also working this is an idle okay so that is simply amazing so as you can see everything just stabilizes at idle it is like digital kit is just hear the idle okay no drama absolutely sweet idle so that's what i call beautifully this is idling the electricals are like perfect at idle so you don't have to really you know rev the engine to get brightness seriously amazing you know i cannot thank mr rahman for actually creating this kind of a kit this is simply you know out of the world i have not seen a single kit in my life which does this kind of an amazing job when it comes to lighting okay so see um i don't want to steer controversies i have used almost every kit which is available in the market and i have not seen this kind of results so this is simply you know he has knocked it out of the park this is an amazing job so next thing is he has actually sent me a racing cdi um so which will you know take care of the cut or cut off of power at around 7000 rpm so i am little lazy to tune it but that is going to be definitely going to be the next upgrade on the bike so tomorrow i am going um, to get this mudguard fixed actually the shape and then we'll have to give this mudguard both the silencers for plating i've actually fixed the rear indicators as you can see these are red indicators now so what i'm going to do is once i get this grab rail which i have given for plating the original one so i'm going to transform i mean transfer this from here to there and also see these indicators are like the us spec indicator so the um, you know 
threaded bolt that goes through it is um, you know the same size as the uh, brake adjusters that we have so i had only two brake adjusters so i was able to fit only two indicators so tomorrow what i'm going to do is i'm going to get uh, three more brake adjusters two for this bike and one i borrowed from the rx100 so that also needs to uh, go back into that so once that is done then i'll put these front indicators as well but guys i'm simply amazed you know this is different level altogether you know i cannot thank him enough this is you know i'm i'm just blown away thank you mr rahman you know for putting this kind of research and this kind of effort in building such a kit i'm completely you know blown away okay so like you said i mean like you saw everything is working as it should without the battery so battery is something that i'm going to remove from this bike i don't need it anymore the bike is idling perfectly it is running perfectly all the electricals are functioning like it should small small things are needed i'm going to change these two indicators to um, the rd ones i have similar ones like that i have for this side as well um, plated ones so i am going to buy the um, screw on which it is supposed to bolt tomorrow and then we will put those indicators back mirrors i am thinking probably i'll get the uh, enfield type uh, minda mirrors so that is again in my uh, plan the master cylinder is going to change front mud guard getting shaped tomorrow both silencers needs to go for plating we'll borrow the silencers from the orange bike till the orange bike gets rebuilt uh needs uh, reflectors back and front uh other than that yeah it's perfect another thing that i forgot to tell you the mileage of this bike has shot up like crazy okay so my house is around 1 km from the junction and i usually when i park my bike at the junction it's an auto uh, you know autopilot thing that i turn off the petrol sometimes and sometimes when i start the bike i forgot i mean i forget that i have turned off the petrol so uh, earlier my bike was running those rx 100 type uh, filters those big ones and since they were not available anymore we got the latest rx type filters which are very tiny okay i'll just show you how they look probably you will understand so not a good angle yeah this is better so this is the kind of filter i'm talking about okay it's just a very tiny filter so what we did is uh, we got these and usually when i start from the junction and if i forget to turn on the fuel uh, it reaches around 400 meters max especially this one the rx100 goes around 500 meters but last time i forgot to turn on the petrol and i was riding and i reached this main gate and the bike started misfiring so i was like shit something has happened maybe one cylinder is shutting because that used to happen a lot in the past you know you will go for a ride and something will shut off so i'll take a better seat actually you know i will just sit look at the bike and talk so yeah something will shut off so you are going for a ride you'll have to plan like you know my friend who has the orange rd the orange rd was on tci kit before i converted it into a cda so the tci kit uh, is very similar to a points kit the only thing is it replaces the points uh, so this guy uh, on the previous day he took out the battery he charged it fully just for a ride which is approximately around 25 30 kilometers from his home to my home 
okay so that's the level of planning that you need to put when you're dealing with these vintage bikes okay if you want to take it to the shop uh, to buy groceries this is not your workhorse okay first it has a drinking problem and second uh, for short rides agronomically and even you know the way it rolls it's a heavy bike so people usually don't prefer taking these but this story is very different for me the moment i got the allied cdi once i got the allied cdi starting the bike is as simple as just one kick so in one kick the bike starts then it behaves it runs very smooth i can go to the shop uh, in order to increase the you know agronomics further i reduce the height of the front shocks and now it rides and feels like a normal rd okay so the situation is uh, i am i'm actually really love with this bike now so you know i got this bike in 2014 now it's 2020 almost 6 years and in 6 years it has never run this beautifully it has always you know it had some issue or the other always you know it had some issue or the other so usually what happens is these bikes get parked a lot like you know most of the people just park it and just keep wiping it on a daily basis make sure that everything is shiny nothing gets rusted so that that's what they do so these are basically garage queens garage queens so mine has just graduated as a daily rider she was also a garage queen i have spent a lot of money on this as you can see uh and now i'm really enjoying those rides okay however small it may be so plan is to finish this bike and then you know parallelly finish the orange bike as well and then both of us are planning to go for a ride some you know off beat roads where there is nobody to you know um so yeah that is the plan with this bike amazing bike you know the entire feel has changed so most likely tomorrow i'm getting the mud guard fixed and then i am getting those two uh silencers should go for plating so that is also pending so once that is taken care of uh till then we will use the silencer from the orange bike uh mud guard we will have to go back to our good old days of continental gt but i am i am thinking probably i am not going to give everything for plating tomorrow itself because most likely even if i get it fixed i think we will miss the time of the plating guy so yeah we'll catch you guys up tomorrow hopefully when i get the mud guard fixed and then almost everything is complete in the rd all i need to do is just get a brand new battery which i don't think i need anymore as you guys have seen already so i was just wondering probably the horns might need a new battery but now this is useless so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the old uh, battery uh, which was completely dead just so that you know the connections are through uh, so yeah that is the plan hope you guys enjoyed this quick video so i'll catch you guys again in the next one bye bye